are you still a warrior? Do you still see your, do you still see yourself as being somebody who's fighting a battle, who's got, has got some sort of enemy or enemies, the definition of that sort of that, that term? No, it's a good question because actually, uh, I've moved beyond that way of thinking of myself and that way of being for myself. I feel, I believe I've laid down my shield and my sword. And yes, it's true. I can get triggered or provoked in certain relationships and certain situations and I'll grab that sword and shield so fast. You won't believe it. But uh, I think predominantly I'm someone who lives on a day-to-day -day basis with the sword and the shield laid down. And at the very least, I'm aware of when I've picked up the sword and the shield and it's like I'm wielding it again. It's like, hold on, you're wielding the sword and the shield. Is that really going to serve you or anybody else here? It served me pretty well when I was in my 30s. Right. Because in my 30s, it was all about achieving and being successful and the hell with everybody else. I'm getting to the top of the heap. Get it. And then the, another thing you talk about uh, that, again, sort of, it's a, I, I think you use very common language that people will will un we'll understand you talk about drama and and so again in sort of colloquial language it's like oh yeah you know there's a lot of drama in that family or that yeah you know, that there uh, i'm t i'm tired of the drama um that's the way we tend to use that language you you use it in a in a sort of in, i i read a more um thoughtful way and i'm and maybe you could just describe what drama means in your book and and why it's drama. a significant com concept to be writing about yeah that's a great question i think i have a very simple way to explain it drama is when my old wounds are dancing with your old wounds and we call that a relationship that looks like drama so if we're both very much unaware of our old wounds and our hard wiring and it's like uh, you you come up to me and then all of a sudden I'm angry and then you get upset because I'm angry and we just both get triggered in the same old, same old way. And it's really not us interacting with each other in present time. It's my old wounds dancing with your old wounds. And that's yeah. what trauma is. Like a play, like a theater. It's a like play. Theater. Yeah. Right. 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 You know, and I see this all the time on the national level. I see it at my personal right. level in the relationships. Yeah. Yeah. And so how do you, how do you get rid of that? What do you do to it? Well, a big part of it is ownership. It's like, here you come again making me angry. No, wait a minute. Here comes that trigger again that, boom, reveals the anger that's already inside of me. It's like, instead of you make me angry, it's like, oh, I'm angry. Uh -huh. And that's a massive transformation there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. From you make me angry to I'm angry. That's a massive switch in seeing. It's like, oh, I'm angry. That's interesting. I didn't realize how much anger I had in me. Wow. Uh -huh. And then if I can then own my anger and then see it and allow it, that gives me the chance to slowly let it percolate out of me instead of suppressing it, right. which is the shadow, the suppressed, un unexpressed emotions. And so I'm interested if, you want, if you're successful in getting rid of this drama that has a lot of energy into it, a lot of entertaining val entertainment value, what what are you left with? Is it like is life then just boring? Like with no I drama? Mean, I, I swear. I mean, I'm sure I can find places in my life where it's true. Also, that many of us are really addicted to our dramas. It's like, don't take my trauma, my drama away from me, because what, what would right. life be about? But let's say you're successful in getting rid of it. What do you what what replaces it? Like, what do you how do you fill the hole that was that was filled with drama? How, what do you fill it with? And, well, I mean, one thing I fill it with is simply laying down the shield and the sword and saying, I'm a man of peace now. Uh -huh. Sort of the what's out ahead of me now is, well, how can I be of service to someone else? And hopefully this book is a you know, step in that direction. Yeah. Let me be of service to somebody else. Let me offer some of my experiences to you and see if that can be of service to you.